Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery. Going to talk to you today about batteries for solar, whether it's off-grid solar or for hybrid solar as a backup. And people ask, what's the best voltage? Is a six-volt battery better than a 12-volt, or should I go to a two-volt battery? The answer is yes. <laughs> uh, it's based based upon your situation, your application, and your load calculations for the place you plan to run. Just to give you an example to make it simple, we're going to talk to you today about these Trojan batteries. These are all 6-volt batteries. This is a U.S. battery, so it's a different company. Um, but let's start over here. This is a battery made by Trojan <clears throat> called the L16REB. It's 370 amp hours. It's a very tall battery. It is 6-volt, and you will have to check the water every 3 months and use distilled water. Caps come off just like that. You have plates inside of it, and then you want to make sure the plates are covered up. It's got a very, very heavy lug terminal, L-style terminal, uh, which is nice and heavy duty. This is the L16RE. They also produce the T105RE, and this also has the heavy duty lug. The amp hours are 225 amp hours for this battery. And this battery, we've actually installed the aftermarket watering cap called uh, Water Miser because it will allow the loss of water to be redu reduced by 50%. And these are nice caps when you have 12 or 24 of these batteries and you're having to water them every month. Uh, this, this little cap is a $5 aftermarket piece. It screws right on to the factory hole and it does reduce the water loss by 50%. It also seems to reduce the hydrogen emission and the uh, corrosive nature of the battery. I have seen these on the field, but the corrosion is reduced. So that's a water miser cap. This is the T105 RE. RE is the Renewable Energy Series by Trojan. It is a heavier battery. It's more robust. It's really designed for solar. These are on sale for $125 with exchange right now. The T105, I'm sorry, the L16 RE is on sale for $260 with exchange right now. Uh, you can check us out at www.619battery.com. Now, if you have an area or you, you have these batteries in a place that you cannot get to and you can't maintain. I brought this battery in to show you what an AGM battery is or glass mat uh, or sealed battery. This is produced by US Battery. It's the AGM 2000. She has 210 amp hours. <clears throat> she's very heavy. Uh, she's probably almost 70 pounds and it's completely maintenance free. It does have caps on here as you can see but they've been injected with the electrolyte and then they've been glued shut so you never get into the caps. AGM stands for absorbed glass mat. This battery is superior in chemistry to the wet lead acid batteries and the fact that internally we have less resistance. It'll come up the charge quicker. It'll discharge slower and it will not produce any dangerous uh, gas and there's no corrosion. I really like the AGM batteries, but unfortunately they are more expensive. So this one right now is on sale for $200, but if you buy four or more, the price goes down to $188 with exchange. So what you want to take away from this is we're talking about 6-volt batteries. Some people use 12-volt batteries. The <clears throat> battery's nature is the lower in voltage of the battery, the plates seem to get thicker and thicker and thicker. We do have a 2-volt battery that is superior to the 6-volt batteries <clears throat> in the fact that it'll last longer. It'll have more life cycles and it'll have more amp hours. In fact, Trojan makes a battery just the same size right here, but it's a 2-volt battery. And instead of having 370 amp hours, it's going to have 1,110 amp hours. And that one's on sale for $259. It's called the L16 uh, RE-2V for 2-volt. Well, anyway, if you have any questions, Check out our website, 619battery.com. You can always give us a call. Remember, when sizing for a solar array for off-grid solar, you don't start with buying solar panels. You do a load analysis of the, of the loads that you're going to be placing on the batteries. So start with your load calculation. You can Google it. There's forms you can download and do a, a quick uh, example. You could buy one of those little kilowatt meters and plug appliances into that and measure the watts to do your load analysis. But you start with your load analysis first to size your array and then size your battery bank. Okay? Anyway, that's my tip today. If you have any questions, give us a call. We're always here 619-448-5323 or 448-LED. Talk to you soon.